for this matchup. We got Mr. Doug Benz forever himself. David Hughes. Which is one here at Suitland last time. And he's 2-0. This matchup, we got Mr. Doug Benz for himself, David Hughes, which is one here at Suitland last time. 
Hey, and he's 2-0. He's going up against Mark Klingelhoff for this match. Uh, this should be should be a good one. So Danny May and uh, Buddy Turner are going to duke it out in the middle slots. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So, you know, we have uh, buddy so David and uh, Dave Hughes and um, Parker both do it now. So, very important match up top. Uh, this this game for both of them. One will go two and one, one will be three and up. And uh, that's what you're looking for. So, see what happens. Eight frames will duke it out. And uh, it's a pretty even match. So in uh, front of us here, though, we get the one more game here of uh, <coughs> Colby, and uh, we get Colby won't match this game. And this could be a barn burner. Fun fact about Buddy Turner, did you know he can ride a unicycle? Did know that. Yeah, he can ride a unicycle. He has very unique skills. He does, and that one of them includes beating me in the finals. Yes. Yeah, uh, we did see that match there at uh, Glen Burnie. Uh, oh, you know. I thought uh, I thought you had that wrapped up until uh, Buddy said, "Hey, hold my beer." Yep, he said, "Hey, hold my <laughs> unicycle." <laughs> but you made it. Yep, yep. you got paid. Yep. Second year, uh, second year having a finals appearance. Yeah, but you gotta think. You haven't been bowling forever. <laughs> you have to be proud of that moment. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I 100%. mean, making a no, finals. Yeah. it's not easy. No, no, no. no. You, you said the match everything. before. Yeah, I did beat Colby the match before. Yeah. Um, you know, the, or the two matches before because I beat Tim Sav. But uh, I think I think Colby looks back on that and says, "Well, I kind of beat myself." Yep. I I do I do remember some very uh, explicit words that I will not repeat coming out of Colby's mouth walking out the door after he did uh, go cut a duck one one. Yeah. You know, I don't think I've ever seen somebody get to glory days so fast in my life. But. I happened to look at my Snapchat story in the second frame of the next game, and he was already there with a beer in his hand with the quote, the Ravens suck, I suck, bowling sucks, and that is all. Well, that should go. There's one other thing that I will not that should, I should definitely go on a, on a shirt somewhere. That should definitely, get no butt. That should yeah. definitely go on a shirt somewhere. Yeah. That, yep. <laughs> yep. But, I mean, yeah, it was it was definitely a cool experience. You know, for sure. We'll have to uh, talk to Jason about making the uh, Colby shirt. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. There was, you know, that was before Colby and I really, you know, got close. So we were, you know, his friends, but you know, it was oh man, you know, great job, you know, go get him. Oh my God! And proceeds to again scream quick words, walk out. It was um. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it's never fun when you uh, do that. Lost by he lost by one. The score was wrong on that one too, if you remember. The score was messed up. Said he won by two, but actually won by one. Uh, yeah, but you know what? You moved on. Yeah. I definitely thought through the first five or six frames. I thought you know, there was there was a. But you've come a long way. I mean, you've been bowling uh, for a short period of time. Uh, uh, you've, excelled, you've excelled your game to the point where you're actually bowling pro tour. You made a cut. I did. Um, You've made it to the finals. Yep. So that's pretty darn good. Yeah, there's four years ago. Oh, yeah, you know, I know some guys that have been doing this their entire life and haven't even sent the finals. So for me to walk in, you know, in my second year and, and, into a final. And, and I mean, you were on the verge of winning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yep. it wasn't like, oh, I just made it and you, nope. and you flopped. Yep. You were like, Buddy, you know, you were competitive, you were in the match. Yeah. You could have won. Yeah, and the best part, Buddy was cheering me on the entire time. You know, and, you know I, had, I had obviously the crowd behind me. Which was really, really cool to, you know, which was really cool to have an experience. You know, a lot of people were behind me that day, which was really cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun day, man. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Colby and, and Walt exchanging nines. Hammers. And David and Mark exchanging spares up top. Walt goes left on his single now and leaves his He is not happy about it. No, he does not like to miss singles. Nah. 
This is it the same way. It's the same thing. And he is also not that good. So, uh, we will uh, keep marches in place then. Switch your subjects a little bit, obviously, next weekend. It's the first official stop of 2024 for the uh, men's pro tour at Hindley. Will yeah. we be bowling? Absolutely. Uh, I'll never, I mean, I love the pro tour. I mean, I like the pop win. No tours are great. Uh, if you want to bowl in Finland in the pro tour, you can sign up. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a great tour as well. Uh, we travel a little bit uh, versus uh, south. But um, I like the tour, um, and if you hold the tour a lot, uh, you have a lot of good friendships up north. You like to get up north, and see those guys, and it's really good to see the northern guys come down too. So, uh, you have those friendships for so many years, right? And then uh, that's why Fed Match is usually a, a huge event um, down here because we look so forward to seeing our. I've that we've bowled with for like 20, 30, 40 years. Yes. Yeah, it's, yeah. Really, it's, it's really cool to see everybody. Right. And I, and I feel like the competition there, it's, it's just so much more. You know, not that the, you know, I'm obviously not just counting the pop with at all, but you know, the pro tour, it's, you know, it's just, you're walking in, it's just almost like a different thing. I mean, uh, you're, All the flags you're, across. You're, you're, yeah, I mean the history of it, right? And uh, and you're looking at uh, the best of the best. I mean, right. even yeah. the best that's left over from all the years. It's you, you have the best bowlers uh, all in one place, and uh, you cannot slouch on anybody. Nope. I think Sunday is yep. just rock and sock. I mean, yeah, it, exactly. Yeah. Every, you know, it's not somebody that just happened to sneak into a cut like you know, whoever's no, there. No, you had to deserve to be there. Yeah, and, and especially now, like the, the numbers aren't as high as they used to be. Um, you know, trying to make the cut is not easy now. Like, uh, they may only take 24 to today, but it's like 24. I mean, you gotta really right. bowl to make, make yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, even if you bowl 140, maybe 125 average, you might not be enough. enough. Right? You, know, you really gotta get to what you really almost guarantee. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I should be a spot in some Should, yeah. Um, but, I mean, back in the day, there were several cuts that were extreme. Oh, I mean, you might have town hall back. There were some like twelve hundreds, and, and you didn't make it. Right, and you were like, "Oh my goodness!" What right. I mean, when you average one hundred and fifty, one hundred and sixty plus, and you don't make it at that point. So what more do you have to do? Yeah. But um, you got this tour here, the the, the pop Whitten, it's, it's strong. I mean, you're getting uh, one hundred and sixty to two hundred entries. Oh yeah, um, every fan base, absolutely, and. Uh, it's uh, it's really come a long way since uh, when I started in the Pop Whitten when it turned over from Virginia Tour to Pop Whitten. Right. Um, it was just scratch. It, it was literally right. another tour, and now it's uh, evolved into what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have your scratch division, you have your POA division, and I, and I love yeah. watching it evolve. You know, cause again, it gets more of the more of the POA bowlers out. You know, you're giving away the POA star. You know, it's it's just you know that's where you know your 260, 280 entries are made. It's amazing for the sport. Oh, absolutely. And and, and the, that's the thing is. Um, uh, if we just rely on scratch bowling now, uh, it's hard to survive. Uh, right? There's just not uh, 130, 150, 140 average guys out there anymore. Right. Right. Um, you you got to start to somehow incorporate everybody into your scheme uh, so you're successful. Right. And the Pop Wind has uh, has found a way to do that. Uh, the bad part is is uh. Their original plan of going to all these houses, uh, you have a problem now with 12 million houses, right? Because you're so popular. Right, right, yeah, you uh, have 200 entries. How do we get 200 people inside of 12 million? Well, right, right. Yeah, that's where you went into the problem, you know, with houses like, you know, Mount Airy and yeah. uh, Duel or Prima. Right, yep. Right. And it's, it's like, then you got to start thinking about what do we, how do we fix this? awesome dilemma we've created right right it's um, a it's a phenomenal problem that yeah it's like okay i need 24 lane houses i right. need i need 18 to 24 or 40 lane houses right. and unfortunately you have one lane house um and most houses are 24 um 
but you do have those short lane houses. And uh, and some of us have voted the short lane houses forever, and I love them. Oh, yeah, of course. You know, now I love them. them. I mean, most of them, they're kept up, and they, I mean, the score is off the floor. But to be able to fit 260 bullets in 12 lane houses is almost impossible. All three of the 12 lane houses that the pop up goes to, uh, even the tour, uh, and Mount Airy and stuff. Those houses fall phenomenal. I mean, you look at the scores and you're like, you've had written records with those houses. Oh, yeah. um, the final between Bernie and, and, and John. John. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm sure that's John, one of the most John viewed the double finals ten. ever. Yeah. Um, because it was, you couldn't believe it was happening. Right. And, uh, you know, and you create those moments in those 12 lane houses and you're like, how can we not come back here? Right, exactly. And that's what makes it so hard is that everybody wants to jump on those shifts like that. All the shifts are cool and everybody's like, well, you know. But, um, yeah, you know, it's just, it's it's a, it's awesome to have it. I'm excited to not. So we'll be going to go to it next weekend. So, yeah, you know, it's I'm glad you're here. Uh, to, uh, to be with Pitlin. Pitlin has so much history. Uh, it's, it's been around forever. It has. Wayne, uh, Wayne's done a phenomenal job yeah. getting that thing running. Yep. Uh, both Wayne and Mark. Yeah, give Mark, yeah, Mark, 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 Mark is fun, so, man. You know, I've watched uh, him run back and forth between the back and the front. You know, I, they do everything to keep that house up and moving. So uh, I'm just glad it's it's still around. And, and uh, I mean, I have my highest set ever in my life there. Right. And uh, I've had awesome days there. Oh, it's just, uh, I don't know how many times we've all sat around in that park. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and talked about the last 20 years, you know. That's uh, what, that's what it's all about. Yeah, it's good to get there. I'm really looking forward to tour next weekend. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been great. Great. And having a beer with everybody. Yeah. 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 Talking about the last umpteen years. Oh my God, yeah, it's great. I think, you know, and it, again, it's just, as you said before, it's just always great to see everybody come up for You know, yeah. and get that, you know, come down here to support the tour. As obviously we go up there. Yeah, yeah. You know, again, places like, you know, Johnson. You know, do that. Do that. They knew in the mix. Yeah, all stuff. Yep. Um, I'm very excited to see White Oak back on the back on the map. White Oak's doing great right now. They're uh, they're they're making great money. That place is electric. I I can't wait to be back there next year. It's a uh, it's a phenomenal house. It puts up big scores. You can clearly see two uh, hundreds are popping there. Right, uh, Five hundred sets. Bernie's, Bernie just released that place. And Bernie's put up five fifty. Yeah. I can't do anything. Yeah. I've yeah. been yeah. well yeah. that first time back. George has been doing a great job. Yeah. And uh, we've been waiting forever for it. I mean, you got to think we went through uh, two years of uh, pandemic there, and then oh my God, yeah. a yeah. year of uh, turmoil and courts and everything else. Yep. And you had to so hold on top of that, and, and we didn't think it was going to come back. And it was scary. It was and scary. I know. Already, I mean, everybody was kind of like, "Hey." You just gotta deal with it. It's not gonna be there. But then, out of the blue, it was like, "Oh my God, it's coming back!" Right, right. And, uh, I think that was. Uh, it really it made my day. Yeah, to see it come back. I don't want to see any anybody. No, of course, course. not. You know, uh, when it comes to family, you know, I, my brother and there, you know, I don't want to see. I don't want to see anything bad. So, no, no, of course not. That place uh, is, and, and I'm glad for all the family and, and everybody. So, I don't I have to interrupt you. I apologize, but we just watched John D'Antonio. John, back to back to John, back to John. On, on lane uh, 17 over there. I'm sorry, you have too many stars to be throwing balls like this. <laughs> but yeah, so everybody's excited. Uh, we got back to White Oak this year uh, for the uh, tour. Uh -huh. And um, I did make that cut. I was not all yeah. I did make that cut. And we got back there, and it, it, felt, it felt great. So... Uh, I have for great things for them uh, down the road here. Yeah, yeah. So, but uh, obviously with the upcoming tournament, so we got the third tournament this weekend, and we got Bull. This is the, uh, the busy, busy time. Oh of yeah, year. this is this is where Bull is starting. And we then we got June Scratch Battle, which yeah. is huge. Are you bowling in that? Yeah, I am. But well, Hobie is very excited about March Madness. What? Twelve, twelve, right? Yep. Well, ladies and gentlemen, during March Madness, if you ever want to go see Colby, don't look for him at a house. Go ahead and look for him at live, where he's going to be drinking his life away while he watches his mind disappear. Good morning, Brian. Hola. And good morning, Kevin, man. Good to see you on the feed, bro. Did you get up the Johnsons? 
It'll fly a ball better this time. Bring back the wood. And that's it. And that is, you buy. And that is Colby's betting advice for the weekend. No spreads and over and unders. Molly's drink the blood orange. Yep. You will not regret it. So, yeah, that's it. We now have a new new tournament. The summer, the summer. You do have. Is it yet? Yeah, so that's yep. the, that's Hagerstown. Right, it's always Bay, and uh, that's the big one. Yeah, that's the one that's the uh, uh, Parkville and Mount Airy, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Screen yeah. Mount, yeah. Mount Airy and Parkville. So that that also filled up rather quickly. I believe that they had a. It will be uh, it, every month from here on out, all summer. It will be two to three turns. Yep. Uh -huh. And. Uh, yeah, it's a busy time great. of the year. Yeah, it's gonna be great. So this is this is where you know, and you know, in my opinion, I believe that you know February is where you know stuff really kicks into gear. You know, because you got stuff yeah, and, and then Super Bowl, 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 and you feel that you feel that adrenaline. Oh my yeah. yeah, and then muscle probably around August is when it calms down and things. Yeah, because yeah. you know the pro yeah, you know, the the pro tour ends. This season ends for the pop with. And it hits. Oh, we start to move, and then yeah, you'll be trying to throw back up, and where are you going next year? What teams you right. going to right. But uh, right, what, what's your plans, man? I haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, you know, there's there's been a lot of what ifs as of late. You know, uh, well, when, uh, Wednesday at Southwest as of right now, I'm not 100 percent if I'm coming back there yet. Just haven't, oh, you know, Colby Hammer, you know, just haven't. And feeling it to put it the family friendly way, yeah. um, you know. So I, you know, I've been thinking about going maybe to the Pro League. If that's you know, if that's where we decide to go or okay. or whatever. But um, you know, I'm, I'm probably gonna end up coming back to Fridays with uh, Winnie, and then we go to Southwest okay. or we move house, whatever it is. I uh, I uh, I'm kind of up in the air the same. Yeah, you're uh, right back in the mix. Uh, Walt and Colby are uh, duking it out as as we thought. Um, and uh, David Hughes is uh, kind of uh, he's taking the lead over Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, and also here's a, here's a really big thing. Yeah, that I really would love to try to get it done off on Mondays because a wait list for the team, which is insane. You know, but. I've been asked, you know, and it's, it's a possibility, but at this point, truly, I mean, I'm okay with not going. I was just, whatever I feel is more comfortable. I'm up in the air for everything, uh, just just like you are. And we'll see, I guess we'll kind of see where the chips are. Yeah, absolutely. But again, I always like to try to at least keep one league around, just to, have, you know, keep everything boiled and, and still keep everything, you know, going and going one or two times a month and just pro tours, you know. Yeah. see myself making very many cuts. Like yeah, you you gotta you definitely gotta put a couple times a week oh, yeah. to uh, be competitive. Unless you're Steve Dreyer, who can just pick it up and put it down whenever you choose. But he is just he is a robot. Yep. <laughs> Surfs clay where we go. So what we got going on here? We still got the Check bad. Out. Oh, right. Um. Hmm. Buddy Turner's throwing the double up there. He's throwing the ball down on Danny. Someone's getting a breadstick in that And uh, Howard and uh, Sal at the bottom are duking it out. Sal has got three marks. Looks like he's got one one lane down, but he's got to get the other lane uh, popped up. Dan and I uh, and Jay Davis uh, duking it out over here. Jay, though, found the double. That, that always doesn't feel good at you. I think the match that uh, we really want to focus in on here is Mark and Dave up top uh, on the left side and Walt and Colby on the right side. That seems to be the two 
two mashes that's really uh, heating up. Yep. But Eric and Sean in the middle there are, are kind of, uh, depends on what Eric does on uh, his count ball. Right. That could get, could get, could get, right. could get kind of interesting. Depending. Yeah. There's Colby, oh, with the check mark. I've seen that a lot today. Yeah, I've seen a lot of check marks. We've seen the check mark, and I've seen a lot of people pick the five, but five yep. off the check mark. Yep. They're trying to go outside on it. Yep. Which is not because I always try to shoot inside on that shot. Yeah, then you pick the yeah the three pin right out of it. Right. You're like, okay, nine bots. <laughs> and what was I talking about? Way to, I, give, it, way to give it the commentary oh, chance. Oh, Here to go. Good boy. I think you just want to put it between them, you know? It's, it's what you want to do, and it doesn't work out. Sal pulling out a sand wedge. Breaking news out of Minnesota. The Minnesota Vikings just declined a trade with the Bengals that involved three first round picks. For Justin Jeff for Justin Jefferson. Three firsts. And you declined it for Justin Jefferson. I said Minnesota just declined three firsts for Jefferson from the Bengals. Well, I mean, it worked, it worked out for the Rams with RG3. Three first round picks? Well, right, right, yeah, exactly. Oh, wow, it's green mounted on the outside. Yeah, well, you're, you're going to have to see well, now Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. So. Yeah, Justin Fields is just like the ball. I'm gonna ignore you. I've had enough. I've had enough of this Tom Fullery that you're spewing. So Sal uh, is he, he went on the outside. Thought he had it. That one two goes around. That's what it. They said that if Joe Burrow was included in the trade, they would have accepted. What? That, that's kind of crazy, with it? <laughs> I love it. It's great. Free agency is awesome. Yeah. It's kind of crazy to see where those GM chats are at. Heads are at. You would hope so. That would be ideal. Maybe. Look at look at that gap between the kids. Huh? Oh, yeah. We also have Pat Ricard running in front of or behind Derrick Henry, which is just on. Oh, Jay Davis. <laughs> yeah, let's go. He's a Southwest special in his double. Danny, dang. She's been left alive today. She just tossed it out left. Dave Hughes on the shot. Gets nine on the strike. 19. Uh uh uh. Oh. Mark goes 103. Dave's got 127 sitting up top. So Mark's got to get in the gear here, or Dave's going to be freeing up. And you know, you he, he, and you know, go. You know what he's thinking. Yeah, he wants that. Belt. He wants that. He, belt. Dave wants a Dave, belt. You want that belt. Dave wants it. You can see it. Oh, no, that is nice. That's great. We want to see it. Let's do it. That was a, that was a rough one. I put a lot down the ball. See if Colby can get in the match here and put the ball into pressure. Jeff Wetz almost just made the 5 7 10. Colby with the 8. He's a 2 4. Yeah, he could pretty much. Uh, dang. Oh, yeah, wow. that, that's not what we wanted. So, all 20. 120 there in the 8th. Uh, Colby scoops the spare. The uh, Buddy Danny match, the Buddy Danny match over here got hot. Uh, Danny decided to throw a double spare, and uh, we got a yeah, four pin match over there, or six pin match over there. <laughs> 
So, uh, yeah, we're going to duke it up last year frames. If I throw it back, would you catch it? <laughs> Where'd you get that cheese, Danny? Get that cheese, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I like grilled cheese at night. Oh. Just throwing marks relentless at Eric. <laughs> and that fucking camera over there to our right, a little off camera. Uh, uh, he's giving Nick the business. He's giving Nick. Oh, wow. He has seven in a row. Thank you. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. These cookies are hot. They are hot, hot. Oh, yeah, they were hot. Oh, beautiful ball. Anytime she wants it. <laughs> You can't get on that. We don't have the camera down there. Ah. Oh, Nick Lloyd, two. Buckingham. Buckingham sitting at 61 already. The final, if he goes 10. There's just something about the cookies here that just oh. makes me happy. They're the, it, I'm telling you, if Tommy would sell these cookies, Everywhere. His entry fees on the Pro Tour. Hey. <laughs> oh, and Colby gets a 20. He can do double. Walt sitting on 30. Plus, I'll be sitting at 17. Mm -hmm. But if Walt opens and Colby doubles, we got a match. Okay. And Walt said, I ain't taking it. I ain't taking none of this. I ain't letting you back in the match. Put on the gas pedal. And that's going to do it, folks. Why won't it spare another 20? God, man, these cookies, they are just something. What? Oh, yeah. If I am correct, Wayne, now please obviously correct me if I'm wrong, we might have one ropes at 500 for his first three. I think he's at 480. 45. 45? 59, what do you have last game? He had like 35. 205, yeah. Close stop. Close stop. Just tearing it up this game. Eric is running to a bus off. I think Sean didn't like losing to Colby, and he's taking it out on Eric. Colby got Sean hired. Up. He's giving it to Jill over there. I mean, he's oh, wow. got 36 plus. She's sitting on 108. So, looks like Matty Bucks in hand. Matty and Stiley in hand. Oh, Sean, I mean, Colby has this guy just fired up. 
Wow. <laughs> Toby beats him. Sean is going up the rail. 160 now on Eric. He could go 170 with a triple. Toby really got to him quick. <laughs> and we now have an awesome view of the final frame. My favorite view, if you ask me. Yeah, I did not. I did not know you had all that back, all that, all that birthday cake. Top seven. 167 for Sean. Great game. That's a good one. and as game three slowly comes to an end. So David Hughes is going to be 3-0. That would take a part. We got, so, did, so now, I have a question. Pending David Hughes wins back to back here. Do we still call him Mr. Duckman's forever? I think you're going to have to start calling him Mr. Shuler. That's what I'm thinking. Tickets are here on uh, 1518. Oh, no, you can see it. It's moving. Oh, he's gone. That's what he said. <coughs> Johnny Turner shoots a spare in the 10th. He shoots a cookie. Not right Jeff. Well, that's a, that's a double. Well, I will continue to eat my cookie. One or one plus. Sure. Oh, and if he goes, and if he throws a triple here, this could be crazy. And he does. Got it. And he does. He got it. And he does. He throws again. I know. I so look at the game now. John with 116 in the ninth, and now Jeff has 116 in the ninth. And oh, Johnny gets it by I would have John, Johnny D. Johnny D uh, gets the game 130 to 129. Unreal. Unreal. Jeff with a crazy comeback there in the final frame. One thin game. Wow. No, I mean, a lot of action so far this morning. We are now officially past the halfway mark. So yeah, we're know, finishing up here with uh, Sal and uh, uh, Howard Sparkman. Yep. So, and, Sal uh, needed to make that. He did not. So Howard is going to take this time. Um, Sal shoots thirty. Sparkman already has that. Five, five spares. Well, for what? So I just was informed by Mr. Duckpins forever. Mr. Duckpins. That Mr. himself and Howard will be rolling against each other for shout four and out. For shout out to Walkersville. Walkersville one time. Walkersville one time. And we're gonna take a, a commercial break once I find the cursor. We'll see you guys in game. Four. Four.